Oh, 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 hey, I didn't see you there. So, uh, yeah, welcome to week five, I think, Wait, week five of development. As you can see, this week my partner has done a very snicey main menu. I can press stuff, I can select difficulty, and it boots up into the game. And from here on, not much has happened since last week, really, unfortunately. It has been a combination of procrastination and schoolwork on my part. University is a, has been a bit tough these last few weeks, but I aim to get my routines back and start working on this game again for, for reals. So actually put some serious number of hours into it. But I want to take I want to take this this uh, this next minute to talk about things to come. So we're planning on having our first pre-alpha test in two weeks, in the middle of April, where we are gonna get together people we know and hopefully some people we don't know. We are gonna get to borrow a venue down in the city where I live, hopefully, and there we can set up a little booth where people can come and play the game if they want to. And hopefully also, if they feel so inclined, fill in a Google form and give us some feedback of what they like with the game or not. So what we aim to get with this is, first of all, do, do people who play this game think it's fun at all? Is there Are there any particular elements which they find not so fun? Or, or, or extremely, or, or on the other end of the spectrum, or something that they find extremely fun? And how should we, should we remove that, or should we continue focusing on it? And so the second thing we want to we want to get from this is, is the game intuitive or not? Meaning, is um, is it is there any part or functionality of the game that people have especially hard to understand or learn? to the point where we have to tell them explicitly what to do, that's going to be a real indicator that we can really improve on the intuitiveness of the game so that the player doesn't feel cheated and the player is actually aware of all the movesets that they can do and stuff. But we're going to leave that at the testing. See, I'm of the opinion that you really have to test your... Really, test, testing your game is the only sure way to obtain information of what you can do better or not. And so I hope that we're going to get some useful information by having our testing phase really early on. Now it's been five weeks already, but I think that's a pretty good time to have your first testing round. Or seven weeks, actually, if you're going to count the two upcoming weeks. But so, yeah, there's that. And also, since we are now two people working on the project and we're both working in Unity, we are both going to go over and see our work, or like routines for work management. So for one thing, we need a clear roadmap for things we want to, to have in the game and see if the project scope is sufficient. So if I haven't said that already, we're planning on releasing in September, which in practice is probably going to mean we're going to release in December or January next year, seeing how these indie projects usually goes. And then there's the question of uh, getting it, getting a written contract down where we are clear about how much workload we're expecting from each other. So that's it, really. Hopefully, now that we have our first deadline, I'm going to be motivated to start working a lot more. And I believe that is also going to be easier now that we're two in the project. I believe maybe if you're a team, it's easier to motivate each other. But we'll see about that. It's, it's a learning experience for me still. And with that said, I am going to leave you there with the deaf animation of this little enemy. Yeah, that's really satisfying. Okay, so I'm going to go back to doing important school stuff now. So catch you guys next week.